Hey, it's Brandon Brands V's here. So it is May 11th, 2023. So what we're doing today is we're going to show you the second round of drafts or the cells that we're going to place in these main nukes. So this is the second round. So we're going to show you the first round results about the middle to the end of the video. So stick around for that. But for right now, we're going to show you how we place our cells into these mating nukes. So we make two frame mating nukes. So we're just going to basically cut into how we like to set those up. All right, so we got our second round of graphs here. So a little bit of bird come on this, not a big deal. This has some extra wax they're building. So if you want to take a look at these here, so I'm going to set this down right here. So we have two frames each. So there's, uh, these are all split from dividers. You can probably see through here. So we got queen, 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 and we're going to add this queen cell to this mating nuke. So when we make these two frame mating nukes, there's two things I like to add. One, emerging bees coming out. And I always put the emerging bees closer in so they keep it warm throughout the box. And two, I always give them a little bit of honey. So this is some honey, pollen, usually a mix of the two. So that way they can directly feed. Um, or say the weather gets bad, um, say it takes a while for the queen to mate and come back, then um, they can live off of the stores for a little bit before um, some of the other bees emerge because they have more mouths to feed. So this is how I like to insert my hive. So you can see they're already trying to chew her out to get to her. So... That's a, good, that's a good little sign there. Yeah, see, look, this one's already starting to fan because she's saying this is a good queen here. So I think that's interesting. So give them a little bit of smoke just to get them down. So these these um, bees here have been queenless for about, I made these up about yesterday. So probably about 24 hours. Um, what you want to do is you want to split or move these out of the way here. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to take this glove off. So if you put the cell down in right here, and you don't want to smash any bees either. Uh, Bob Benny always has a theory of queen cells or queens by smashed bees does not help with the take. So then as you see, just close it up over the Jay-Z Beezy cup. And that's it. You leave them right there. They'll come and inspect it as they're starting to already. And then you just close them up. So keep it pretty simple. Give them bees emerging. Give them food to live off of. We'll go back and check on these. So that's the second round of graphs. We're going to jump into our first round results. So... We're going to cut through that right now. All right, so there, again, a main nuke has four ways. So there's a queen in each one of these. So we actually had 75% take on this main nuke specifically. So what's really interesting about this is we grafted all of these from Italian queens. So um, these all came from the same Italian. And I'll show you the differences on how they look. Some look a little darker. Some look completely like an uh, <laughs> Italian queen. It's really interesting here. So, all right, so we'll go through. We're looking for her. This is the hunt. It looks like the honey frame we gave them. So I doubt she's on this. Yeah, that's all honey here. So, I'm going to set this to the side. And she's likely right on this other frame. So, we won't miss her when we get to find her. Believe me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, I don't remember right which color is which. So, if this is the dark one, we might have, have a second to find her. But, um, so. Just so you can see, or I could try to point it out here in the sun, which I, it's not a good angle here, but all this is laid up in. So there's eggs in almost every part of these cells here in the middle. Again, hard to see with the, with the sun at the angle here, but all right. So we're, where is she? We see all of her evidence. She, other side. she run, side of the frame. and she's running from us here. Where should she run back to the other side? Oh, there she is. She's hiding in the corner. All right, where is she at? There she is. So this is interesting, so I'll turn the camera a little bit. So see, she's like a dirty blonde <laughs> type. So she's she definitely looks Italian, but she definitely has that black hint of maybe mating with a couple Carniolan drones. It's interesting, but that is what a mated queen's supposed to look like. And she's only laid about probably a full frame of eggs here. But you could tell, definitely not a virgin with the extended abdomen in the back. So that's the first one. We'll show you the comparison between the colors as far as uh, the different queens and how they look. So we'll get to the next one. Okay, so we're on to our second queen here. Um, you can see the first one has a lot of Italian look. And this one, if we get a good angle on her, maybe she'll turn around here in the light. Perfect. It, she almost looks a combination of Italian and Carniolan, like a zebra striped. Um, italian carniolan mix and i almost make the joke of she's a a black-tailed queen because just after about halfway through her abdomen she's solid black on the tail tail end there but 
No, she looks like a pretty good size um, to me. She's laid about half a frame here as she's trying to work around. She is on this honey frame you can see here in the corner. Um, it's white, star of a honey flow. She's not going to lay in this frame because it is stored honey, but you can see here in the corner it is the star of a honey flow. So that's the second one. Let's get into the third. All right, so we've got the third hive here. This one must be further along. I must have grafted an older larva because this is already, um, this queen's already made to come back laid and this is larva stage now so this is probably at least two or three day old larva at the bottom of these it might be hard to see if you look close enough here i'll try to zoom in here you can definitely see the larva hanging out at the bottom of these cells so this must have been one of the bigger graphs um there she is so this is what i was talking about when she actually looks like the italian queen the most out of all three of them in my opinion she just has a little bit of a black tail not much but she looks good. She's running around. Definitely an extended abdomen. She's laying up a storm and it's larva already. So she's looking pretty good. So not too shabby. And this is usually the part where I can talk about the stages of the queen themselves. So. so this is the most useful graphic I've been able to find. So basically what I did, we talked about um, the cell builder, the graphs, and now this is the cells themselves. So day four or five is usually when you like to graft your larva. Um, then cells are sealed usually about day eight, again, depending on when you grafted these. <clears throat> and then as we go out, um, I like to move my cells around day 11 to 14 just because it's um, long enough so they've hardened the cells. But then it's, it's early enough to where the queen's not exactly chewed her way out yet. So day 14 to 16, uh, she hatches. And then I think, um, depending on weather, such as temperature and wind conditions, is the next six days from day 16 to 22 is when she has the opportunity to actually mate. Um, it's really hard because we've had some bad weather conditions, and these queens seem to do pretty good themselves um, now that we're going into the honey flow. And then earliest, um, I think I've seen some spin wheels talk about or calendars. Day 25, you start to get um, eggs. Um, this one talks about day 27, but this is extremely useful. Take a screenshot of this. Um, this is the biggest thing that's helped me out specifically for my queen, um, my graphs, and mating nukes. So if if uh, this is a little bit helpful, um, screenshot this. All right, thanks for watching. If you learned one thing in this video, click that subscribe button as we leave it in the corner here. Um, as we always like to say, it's our first year journey on YouTube, so we really appreciate you watching and follow along as we go through our journey. If you haven't seen it already, here's our grafting video we'll leave here in the corner, followed by our cell builders up here. So if you have any questions, leave a comment, as we always take uh, comments in the section. If not, you learned one thing, leave a like on the video. Thanks for watching.